Hi everyone, Yuval Shkedi here, Solution Architect for Jethro Data. And today I'm going to show you how to connect Jethro to a MapR Hadoop cluster. Unlike the other Hadoop distributions with MapR, instead of using the Hadoop client, we use MapRNFS and we mount the uh, MapRNFS to the Jethro server as use it, and use it as if it was a local file system. So I already have a MapR cluster set up with NFS and already created a Jethro server and installed the Jethro server on it. The first thing I need to do is to mount NFS on the Jethro server. So I'm going to create a directory as the mount point. Now I'm going to mount the NFS to that mount point. So now I can see that I have MapR NFS mounted. Next I'm going to create a directory for cache under slash Jethro. Okay. And I will also create a directory for the data on MapR. So I'm going to create it under MapR apps and call it Jethro. And I'm also going to change the ownership of that directory to user Jethro. And I'm going to do the same for the cache directory. Now I'm ready to create my instance, so I'm going to change to user Jethro. And I'm going to run the Jethro admin command to create an instance. I'll call it demo. I'll provide the storage path as the directory I created on MapR and the cache path as the local cache directory. I'm going to specify a cache size of 250 gigs and I'm going to add another parameter which will tell Jethro to use the local file system in the, instead of Hadoop. So I'm going to specify storage type to be POSIX. Now I'm going to create the instance. The instance was created successfully and now I can connect to... I need to first start the service. Surface Jethro start. And now I can connect with the Jethro client to the instance that I created. And that's it. I'm all set, ready to load data and to query the data on MAPAR. That's going to be all for today. I'll see you next time.